What's going on my peeps? I'm bringing you another video. This one is just going to be on the uh, newly bought RTX, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> RTX 4060. I bought this with my own money. Uh, I have no sponsors. So everything that I say and everything that I do in this channel is uh, my own subjective opinion and is bought out of my own pocket um well okay so um when you first pull out the card this is what you will get if you were expecting any type of um extras like stickers and things like that you can forget that we don't get that here with gigabyte so you literally just get the card and some paper and that's it. <laughs> oh man, I was so disappointed when I didn't get my stickers. Really, like seriously, Gigabyte. Psst, whatever. All right, I'm gonna give this card a bad review just for that. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, so here is the little card. Um, who of those? Who of you remember the days when? high-end graphics cards look like this um, sometimes even just one fan you know blower style <laughs> oh man those good old days are gone but anyway so the point of the video today is uh, we're gonna be taking this thing apart and seeing what type of MOSFETs are using what type of configuration you're getting here uh, they're good or bad you know quality that sort of thing um, just to see what's under the hood and I'm happy that they got a they got smart here and went with the eight pin configuration instead of that well it's not needed to have that um, new standard that Nvidia introduced I think it was Nvidia yeah um, you do get the sticker there of warranty so please let me do the honors I'm gonna put you on a tripod and then uh, we'll take this apart all right so Let's begin the process here. Bye bye warranty. <laughs> uh, all right, we don't care about that anyway here on this channel. If I need to fix it, I'll fix it myself. Um, now, a little backstory. Um, like, I bought this graphics card because I do folding at home. And um, it is a good way to contribute to the world, you know, find cure for diseases and things like that. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, if you don't know what that is, um, just Google it. It's, an, uh, it's a pretty honorable project. Um, it's uh, distributed, distributed computing, I think it's called, yep. And so basically you donate your GPU power or electricity, whatever to have your GPU or CPU do computational, you know, mathematics to basically um, um, find many ways how, how proteins fold and, you know, so they send you the workload, your GPU processes, processes it or your CPU and then it sends it back. Um, so it's, it's, it's more, more than that, but you can read on it. I'm not going to get into that here. Um, so anyway i think there's a screw probably under here so let's go ahead and uh, take this like this here and uh okay Ugh, i hate this thing so this thing wants to come out with the whole uh, plug there let me flip this around look how tiny this core is oh my gosh <laughs> oh man i love this this is so cool um and yeah i do love i am crazy for you know what let's just take the whole thing out okay whatever and so here's your heat sink nothing to see here much you got one heat pipe which is enough believe it or not this is enough to uh, tame this little core uh, it's only about 110 120 watt tdp anyway and i haven't seen anything higher than that since i've been using it so um the thermal pads, well, they look okay. So I'm gonna recycle those. I'm gonna keep 
I'm going to use those. Um, as far as the thermal paste is concerned, well, let's see if there's any pump out here. And there's a little bit of pump out there. You can kind of see it there in the middle, that white surrounding area there. That's where, yeah, but um, it's okay. It's not much. Uh, and actually the uh, delta between the core and uh, the die, um, I'm sorry, the hot spot and then the core was about 10, 10, 9, 10 degrees, something like that. So it was pretty close uh, and I'm happy about that. So nothing much to say. Uh, let's get this screw out of here. And I'm already starting to see positive things about... <clears throat> man, what's wrong with me? Positive things about this little card, just as I took it apart. Um, okay, this is plastic. There is no you know, need to put any uh, thermal pads under here. But um, look at that. They are using fuses here, or one fuse which is nice, it's a 10 amp fuse. Um, but look at that core, let's go ahead and get that cleaned up. And as far as the RAM that they're using here, <clears throat> let's look at that really close. It looks like this is, of course it is Samsung, but um, it is BC20, if I am reading that correctly there. So that's 20 gigabit, right? Right, so this is actually pretty fast RAM. I mean, it's a 46, it's a 4000 series graphics card, so yeah. And uh, having to find this RAM on AliExpress or anywhere, it'll be hard and also expensive because this is the newer stuff. Uh, as far as the faces are concerned, let's, let, let's click this up here. Let's see what type of faces they're using here. Okay, so these are made by Alpha and Omega. And these are the 36344. Okay, so I actually found the uh, what we were looking for here. And it looks like the maximum continuous current is 40 amp. So these are actually 40 amp faces that we got on this little card, which is okay. I mean, it doesn't um, it doesn't require much power, so that's all right. You know, and they're made by Alpha and Omega. Um, I haven't had very much uh, good luck with the Alpha and Omega faces. They tend to blow up on the 3090s and 3080s and 3000 series graphics cards, um, especially the 50 amp and yeah, the 50 amp faces. They tend to will go kaboom on you okay so 40 amp faces and um, 20 gigabit memory chips by Samsung man that's pretty good um, and it looks like the controller that they're using here let's see what type of controller this is I need to get a better microscope and I'm actually working on that. I just got to find one that I actually like. Let's see. It looks like the um, the power monitoring controller here that they're using. It's a UP9512U. Um, I have seen this controller actually. Let me raise up the camera here. And uh, it's a very common uh, controller actually. Nothing uh, special about it. Um, other than I have, I have seen them blown up. <laughs> Let's look at the cheat sheet that I have here for my GDR memory types, and this is GDR six. Okay, so this is actually like the fastest I've got from Sam Samsung is BCHC sixteen so far, and I know there's a BCHC eighteen and now we have SC twenty so I gotta I gotta update this but um anyway so it's fast memory that they're using here that's that's all you need to know about that <laughs> and well okay so that's uh that's the faces that's the memory that that they're using here and look how tiny again look how tiny that core looks man <laughs> but I do like the fact that they are using a fuse now don't get me wrong these fuses here are for the most part um 
pretty useless um, because even though they do have fuses cars like this they still blow up phases and you know this can still get burned up but at least it protects the core and other like you know in, in most cases um, they protect uh, vital components of the card so it's good to have them anyway um, but anyway so I guess yeah there's not much to see here guys this is just a quick uh, tear down of this little card let's go ahead and add some thermal paste on here and we can close the video and I'm sure that you guys um, have seen the uh, benchmarks of this card here in games so there's no need to beat a dead horse here you guys already know what this stuff is capable of uh, but like i said i bought it for the uh, the sole purpose of doing folding at home um, because this little card is so power efficient yeah it's the perfect candidate for that also it runs very cool nice and cool and i don't have to worry about it you know overheating or anything like that uh, the heat sink for this little card is perfect, doesn't need to have anything too special. Um, one thing though, you can kind of see here, you know, where they they, they have to like uh, grind this stuff down to make it um, flat, you know, so it wouldn't, yeah, so to make it flat with the heat pipe. Uh, so you can see the engineering there that went into this thing. Um, I'm not a fan of these type of coolers because there's still little gaps there, you know, small gaps um, in between the heat pipe and the actual aluminum. So I'm not a fan of this, these things here. They, they work okay, um, but I don't like them because um, I've had a um, bad experience in the past with these type of coolers where no matter what I threw at the card, no matter how much, how good a thermal paste I used, um, it just, it, w it won't improve the, the thermal performance because they're still microscopic, there's still gaps there. So the contact is not perfect, but uh, anyway, but they are using a lot of thermal pads. Look at that here. They're covering pretty much uh, all the faces and um, yeah, so that is good. Okay, let's put this back together. And I think these are all the screws for this plastic back plate if I am not mistaken now well, all right guys so there's the uh, oops I got some thermal paste here on the the darn card how dare I do this let's get that removed if we can. And man, that stuff, that stuff right there is stubborn. Holy cow. Don't get thermal paste on this plastic because, uh, yeah, it'll just refuse to come off, as you can see here. Look at that. What a bomber. Wow. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. It's a nice little card. They're using uh, 40 amp faces here. Fast memory, as you would expect from the 4000 series. Uh, very nice little card. I'm disappointed we didn't get any stickers with it. And like I said, uh, this card is very power efficient. So here I am doing uh, folding at home with the uh, 4060. And um, look at that power draw <laughs> 115 120 watts I mean yeah the reading here it's uh, for the TDP the GPU Z is not picking that up but uh, yeah I'm not worried about it um, and like I said the junction the uh, between the core and the hot spot it looks like it's 15 15 degrees Celsius so not bad but uh, yeah, I'm very happy with the little card. Very power efficient. So, okay. And there we have it in the system now, guys. And uh, yeah, that looks so much better. Like for this, these, these type of little cards here, you wouldn't even need to have it in a riser like this. 
you could just have it directly installed into your PCI Express card and or uh, slot and it wouldn't make a difference one bit but um, anyway yeah that's all I got for now guys I hope you enjoyed the video if it was informative um, as to you know purchase options um, you know you're getting uh, good memory here fast memory of course and um, 40 amp faces which is plenty of power plenty of juice for this little card so I'll leave the video here I'm very happy with this little card very power efficient uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.